Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA for developing Java projects on your Windows 8 or 8.1 operating system and I'm also going to show you how you can create your first Hello World Java program using this IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So first of all uh, we are going to download and install IntelliJ IDEA but make sure that you have already installed Java JDK in your Windows operating system in order, order to develop Java programs. So just search for uh, IntelliJ on your browser and the first link uh, will pop up here will be from jetbrains.com slash idea. You can click this link and in here you can just uh, click this download IntelliJ IDEA or click this download button from here. So I'm going to click IntelliJ IDEA from here. And in here you can see two options for IntelliJ IDEA. One is Ultimate Edition which is a paid version of IntelliJ IDEA which is more premium and uh, it has more features. But for learning purposes, we can use this community version which is free to use and open source. Okay. So I'm going to choose this community version which is free and click download community. And it's going to download this um, idea C slash 14.0.3.exe. 14.0.3 is the latest version at the time of making this video. Save this file. And it's going to take a few minutes to download. I already have downloaded this executable file. So I will directly go to this executable file, which is uh, this one in here. You can see this uh, idea 14.0.3 from here. So I'm going to double click this file from here, which is executable file. And now I can see the setup wizard for IntelliJ idea. Okay, so I'm going to click next. And this is the default location where uh, this IDE will be installed. It's in C program files x86 slash jetprint slash IntelliJ IDEA community edition 14.0.3. Click next. And in here you can create the desktop shortcut for your IDE. I can choose this. And I'm going to leave it as default the set second option which is create associations. Okay. So I will click next here and click install. It's going to install this IDE in few seconds or it can probably take one or two minutes to configure in and install this IDE. And now uh, the IntelliJ IDEA IDE is installed in our system. Make sure that you click this checkbox to launch your IntelliJ IDEA IDE when you click this button finish button okay so make sure that it's uh, checked and click finish and it's going to launch IntelliJ IDEA IDE now for the first time when you uh, start IntelliJ IDEA it will ask if you have some previous version of IntelliJ obviously I don't have uh, the previous version so I will uh, leave it as default which is I do not have previous version of IntelliJ and click OK and it's going to start my IDE. And now the IDE has been started so I can create my new project. So I can click this uh, create new project button here. And it's going to create uh, or give me the project wizard. Okay. And in here you can choose, uh, you know, you can see different options for developing Android, Java, FX application, Gradle, Groovy. But I want to choose uh, this Java option from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, to choose the SDK. So I told you, you need to have Java JDK installed in your system in order to run your uh, Java programs. So in project SDK, you need to browse for the JDK folder for you. Okay. So just go and click new and click JDK from here and uh, JDK is in my C folder so go inside your C folder and go into the program files here so you need to choose this uh, program file folders 
and in here you will be able to see a folder called java and inside this you need to choose your jdk folder inside your java folder okay so once you choose uh, this jdk folder click ok which will uh, provide the path for your jdk which is java development kit okay and click next and i will click next once again and in here you can give uh, the name to your java project for example my first java project for example okay and click finish and it's going to create a new project for you called my first java project and for the first time it will uh, you know ask for you for these warning just allow the access and here also for the first time when you open this IntelliJ idea it's going to give you the tip of the day every time you open unless you don't want them i'm going to close it and i can click got it okay so i have this uh, project here okay so what i can do is i can just go to source and inside the source i can see there is no uh, you know java file here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and i'm going to create a new java file or new java file here so right click and go to new and create new java class and uh, you can uh, give the name to the, your java class for example my java dot java for example okay click okay and it's going to create a new java class for you now you can see uh, the font here it may be uh, you know possible that uh, it's too small font for you to change these fonts what you can do is you can go to file and go to settings and you can change the font and color for your editor by searching for font in here and go to font and you can create your own font style so you can just click the save as button click save as and you can uh, name your font style here it's going to create a copy of all the previous font and create a new copy for your so you can create my font click ok and now you can change the size of your font for example by default it's uh, 12 you can change it to 20 and it's going to become big click apply and click ok and now you can see the font has been changed so this is the just a empty java class and here you uh, can create your uh, main public static void uh, main right so i can write p s v m which is a shortcut and click tab and it's going to automatically create this uh, main method for for me okay so just write p s v m and click tab and it's going to automatically create the main method for me me in the same way i can uh, just write s out and click tab and it's going to write a code for me which is system.out.println and inside this uh, print line as an argument i can just write hello world and now to run my project i can right click and run my java project so just click this run my java dot main and it's going to compile my program and run it and you can see hello world printed here okay so this you need to do for the first time from the next time you can just click this green button to run your programs so for example i can just write hello world youtube i add this uh, extra word here and i can just click this uh, green button here and it's going to run my program compile my program first and it's going to print 
hello world youtube in here okay so in this way you can uh, install intellij idea for developing java programs in windows 8 or 8.1 i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now